Hey, what's up, guys? It is Soul Spectrum here, and today we are going to be doing Fallen. No, just Kingdom. Sorry, I was just reading the book Fallen Kingdoms, so I got the uh, titles confused. But anyway, this is a new series that I looked around and thought was pretty cool. Um, it's pretty much a resource saving skill. And you just chase deers, get money, build up defenses, get a better kingdom, and then survive nights with vicious monsters and stuff like that. Each way, each night, the waves, which means rounds uh, and numbers of zombies and or creatures, whatever they are, get bigger and bigger, and they get stronger and stronger, and they get harder and harder. So what you do is you buy and you increase and you buy and stuff like that. So. We are going to get right into this. We are going to get these people to be, and we are going to make one of them a bowman, and we're going to make the other one a builder, and they run to the place and they become what you give them. Of course, uh, in this game, whatever they encounter first, that is what they will become. So we will come over here, and we will get these two people. Um... I did want to mention this before you guys started watching like the whole series. I will stop after the point that it becomes tedious. Just because this game does become tedious after a while as um, you go along. Just because yes there are like stronger monsters and stuff. But the process is almost the same. You just go expand. You beat the portals. I might stop once we beat one portal, or if I die twice, like, and that's it. Cause I imagine that this series might get boring after a while. That's why I said it's like this game can become tedious after a while. So, yeah, and that's pretty much. So what you can do here is that you expand your camp, and the better your camp is, the more stuff you can get. You know. And you build walls to protect your archers, but your archers protect you and stuff like that. So, I kind of need money right now. I need one more coin for another person to become an archer. Um, if your horse stops running, like it gets tired, all you have to do is wait for, just like let it eat. And then you wait for it to um, eat, and then you should be able to run again, but... um. Let's buy another bow, because that always works in my favor. Um, the first night is coming down, so we'll see how that goes. So we'll just wait here. I believe, like, around this time, they start coming in. And we'll see how that goes, because I'm not sure if two, uh, if two bowmen will, will be able to defeat them. I'm pretty sure they will. This is the first night, so I'm not sure if there's many creatures coming. But I do know that I need to prepare for the Blood Moon, which is on the fifth night. We'll try to get to the end of the first few, few uh, for the first few, for the first four, like, days. And then we'll try to get the fifth day on the, like, the next, ep the next episode of the series, so yeah. So we'll just wait for nine to, to, for night to pass. As soon as they destroy the creatures that come, I believe you can set forth, because once the creatures are defeated uh, no more creatures will come and I have two bowmen one on each side so that's good in case they decide to because there's occasions where they'll decide to partner up I'm not sure if like one side will be completely um, disprotected so hopefully that doesn't happen I do have one builder I will need to get another but I believe that two archers is enough so, ooh, there's a zombie. Uh, zombies go away if you if they take your money, but that's why you need um you need a lot of coins. Like you need to like draw them out so they can escape. So we'll just wait for the, for them to kill it, which they have horrible aim. Come on, kill him! As soon as they kill him, I'll be able to go. Which they are not being able to do. Jesus, just kill him! I have the worst arrow men ever. They took my gold instead. Get back here. I hate you. You took my gold. That's not cool, man. So I'll just... No! No! Can I cancel this? 
Can I give him more money to cancel this? God dang it, that means the camp is gonna go away. Wow, that sucks. I hope there's another camp close, because or else I'm gonna be not lucky. I need to collect my taxes. I'll collect these taxes and run over here. Um, I'm gonna see if there's a village over here so I can recruit even more people. But we will start uh, heading out, expanding, probably in the next one. I just want to try to see if I can get as many people as possible. And if we do that, then we should have a successful uh, video. Like I said, this is a resource game. So, the more you save, the better. Let's get these two people and we'll start heading back. We'll give this one a coin and this one. Nope, he ran away from us. This one a coin. So now, I'll let my horse eat. Once I find grass to feed him. We eat here. No, no, no. It doesn't. I couldn't find a place to feed him. So we'll just continue walking until he catches his breath. And then we'll sprint. Because you definitely don't want to be in the forest when the when the uh, creatures come there. Unless you have like a a bag full of gold, then you just drop all the gold, and hopefully that that's their whole army, and they just take it on and don't attack your village or don't attack you. Um, but yeah, so if they're able to shoot that, come on, shoot it. Yes, that's great. So now, what we will do is we will buy a few more bows. We will buy three more bows. No, we don't have enough money. So we'll collect that. We'll see if he has any money. He does, he has a lot of money, and I'll collect that too. Um, we will buy one more bow. And we will buy one more builder. And then what we will do next is uh, build these archer towers which will help um in like air defense and stuff also when they when the air monsters come they'll attack the arrows instead of taking your ground troops which, which will help you a lot i also need to find the statue the statue um helps you either increase your walls increase your army's power or increase how fast the builders can build so we'll make this archer tower real quick. Tell him to get back over. And then we will do that. And so we have two archers over here. And we have three archers over here. So that means we need to get another archer before uh, Blood Moon. Because that will be bad if we have one more than the other. But it looks like our army camp is gone, which is a bummer. I did not mean to do that. I just meant to um, drop the coin, but I will try to find another thing. And why is there a horse here? I haven't seen this. Why is there a horse here? Let me go collect my taxes and I'll be back because I don't recognize a horse. Maybe there were some updates between when I played it and when what i'm playing right now so we'll wait till morning we'll wait for the taxes to come in and then we'll go back for the horse because i'm not sure what he does i'm kind of curious now i didn't know they made updates to the game i can make a farm there but i need to upgrade my camp first because i won't have farmers until that happens so let's is this guy better than my horse I don't see an improvement. Maybe it's just for like looks. But I'll take those two people back. Well, I guess I'm keeping this one. I'm not gonna keep spending money. Um, but let's head over and collect all the money that they have for me. Let's make the archer tower over there just to make sure that we're prepared for the blood moon. And then we'll upgrade our walls once. And let's see if this archer has anything because I, I want to make sure both walls are fortified. 
I don't want one wall to be more fortified than the other because I'm not good with predicting which wall will get hit first and which wall won't. But I at least want a level 2 wall for each one. Just for protection and safety purposes. I really want this, um, this game to go good, you know? So, I definitely want to work. No, I have two builders, so that's fine. I have an archer tower there. And I have an archer tower there. So the next thing is expansion. Because we definitely need to expand. And we need to get our army camp to be better. So our next few upgrades are either going to be on our army camp and expansion. Because once we get those things up. We also need to upgrade. Um, the thing. Uh, the. The. Um, I forget what it's called. But it's like a house type thing. That you need to upgrade. So you can go to the stone like age or era where you can actually upgrade your walls and stuff to be stone but i need to find that first and then we need to get enough money i'll probably upgrade the camp and go searching for it if we find humans or people on the way there that'd be great we can just pay them and they'll come but hopefully everything will be good good so we'll wait for this guy to become an archer to uh, an archer man and that's gonna be okay and we'll wait for him to go. He's taking his time. That's fine. If it was Blood Moon, I'd be kind of worried. But since it's just a regular night. And this is one of the first few nights. So I don't think this is like a big problem right now. It's about to be night. No, it is night now. The archers are ready. I have three archers here. And three archers here. And I have one man that doesn't have anything to do. He'll probably be our first farmer. But yeah. So we'll wait for night to come. We'll see how many uh, creatures come tonight. And we'll see how that goes. No creatures have attacked this side. Let's see this side. Yep, they're attacking this side. It looks like there's only two. And they were able to destroy them. So now, looks like we won. So I'm pretty sure we're good on defenses right now. But we really need to expand because we really need that farm. Because farmers give you a lot of money, especially when you upgrade the farm to level 2. Just because level 2 farms, um, they stay there and they work all night and all day. So, But you also want to make sure that they're protected on the other side. So... We'll have to make sure that happens. So we'll upgrade our camp. And we'll make it better. And we will get the money that these archers make. Which they haven't made much. I'll go to the other side and see if they made anything. They have. They made a lot actually. So now we will go in search of the um the, the house that i was telling you guys about that i do have to be careful because if you get too close to the portal it'll start spawning zombies and stuff in front of you so if we find that and we upgrade that and we make it back to our house that'll be enough for the first episode because i really want to get into the stone era because in the stone era you get to do a lot more so there is two villages right close to each other, so I have to remember that. I'm really disappointed. Oh, there's the portal. So you guys got to see the portal in this episode. Um, after a while, you get these knights, and they um, they lead your archers into an expedition, and they go destroy the portal. And then there's more after that. So that's why I said it's tedious. Just because you've already kind of destroyed it. So now it's just a matter of how many days can you survive. But we'll we'll figure something out. We'll, we'll head the other way. It's still about midday. So I think we're okay. Um, if not we'll just drop a whole bunch of our coins. And hopefully the zombies won't get us. Or the creatures. I'm not sure what they are. But we'll run to the other side real quick. And we'll try to find it. Because it, it has to be here. There's no way the cabin or the cabin thing can be farther than this. And there shouldn't be that many um, 
zombies, so if I drop a few coins, maybe 10 or so, I should be fine. Because I believe after a while, they hit you once and your crown is knocked off. If they hit you again and your crown is still knocked off, then, if no, then they run after you. If they grab your crown, you have to restart the whole game. So that's what I'm kind of scared about. But I really, really want to find this thing, upgrade it, and run back. You see that? So now that they took the money, uh, they should be good. So now let's just find this cottage. This co the cottage is in here. Wow, I got really unlucky with the save. So it looks like we won't be able to get the cottage. Maybe it'll appear after we upgrade or something like that. But for now, the cottage is in here. It looks like we will not be able to go to the stone era. But um, that's fine. You know, we made it past the third night. So, yeah. So we'll make it back to our camp right now. And we'll see what else we can do. Because we do have a lot of money. Um, some expansion would help. Just like I was saying before. Trying to get past. Um, and trying to get farms you know. But we'll see how many. How much we can expand right now. And then we'll go off of that. So we'll expand this. Uh, this tower. And then we'll expand. This tower. We'll. Expand the camp. And that's all we can do for this episode. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this episode, leave a like. Um, check me out, my name is Soul Spectrum. If this is the first video you're watching, I am kind of a new channel. Um, I did start it like a year ago, but I had some problems and I had to stop. And now I'm 100% back into this. And if you guys want me to play any other game, just let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for being awesome. See you guys later.